What are you doing, Grandpa? Mohan, I'm going to plant a rose seedling in this flower pot. Grandpa, is this flower pot made up of soil? Yes, Mohan. But how do you know it? Oh, once I had seen a potter making a pot by using wet soil. But Grandpa, if it is made up of soil, why does it look different from the garden soil? <laughs> Mohan, it is made up of clay, which is one of the components of the soil. Oh, really, Grandpa? What are the other components of the soil? Mohan, the soil is made up of pebbles, sand, silt, clay, and humus. Mohan's grandpa told him the soil is made up of many components. So let us do an activity to understand the composition of soil. Take a handful of garden soil and place it in a beaker. Add water into the beaker up to three-fourth part of it. Now shake the beaker so that soil properly mixes with water. Allow the mixture to settle down. Do not touch the beaker for at least 15 minutes. Here in the pot, we can see that three layers are formed. These layers are formed from different sized particles of the soil. The bottom layer contains heavy pebbles, while the middle layer contains small particles of sand. The uppermost layer contains very fine particles of clay and silt. See? We also have something floating on the water. These are dead leaves. This is called hummus. Hummus is lighter than the water. Thus, it floats on its surface. Do you know the amount of pebbles, sand, clay and hummus in the soil is not same everywhere? It varies from place to place. Do you know that soil also contains air and water? Let us find this out by performing an activity. Take a handful of garden soil in a transparent container. Put a lid on the container. Keep the container undisturbed and exposed to direct sun rays. We can see tiny droplets of water inside the container on its lid. This means soil contains water. Due to heat of sunlight, Water drops appeared on the container. Now, let us take some water in another container and add handful of soil in it. Look, some air bubbles are forming. These bubbles are formed because air trapped in the soil releases from the gap present between the soil particles. This shows soil has air. 